think local food is important because we need to be able to rely on ourselves and rely on our community to provide for ourselves. These children helping mother pick vegetables get many kinds of nourishment. Fresh air, sunshine, vegetables, eggs too. Green Garden's mission is simply to promote food security for limited income households, individuals, families, communities here in Portland. Um, and we do that through working with youth in an elementary school, doing youth programs, after school programs and summer camps. And then we also work with families and apartment complexes to build um, urban backyard home gardens. Um, and you stick your finger in the soil. And if, it, if you come back out in the water as deep as your finger is um, wet, then you know you've done well. Well-nurtured children become healthy and happy grown-ups. An abundant and properly balanced diet, plus plenty of sunlight and play and a due portion of the milk of human kindness. I was raised with a really healthy respect of um, the environment and the earth and that the earth is where things come from. We also experience um, long periods of poverty um, and just like in food insecurity. I was definitely someone who um, growing up had eaten out of food boxes numerous times. We'd been on food stamps before and luckily I had the initial um, experience of having really healthy food in my life when I was really young but also experienced the other end of the spectrum of knowing what was healthy to eat but not having access to it. It tastes better. Sometimes it tastes more fresh, fresher, than when you get it at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, the zucchini, it grows right here and it needs a lot of water and sun. I like the zucchini reminds me of a cucumber and a cucumber is my favorite vegetable. Of course, it's really important to have youth you know, starting early with them and having it um, be something that is natural and easy and fun for them to do is a huge part of having them do that when they're older. Same as reading and writing and learning how to ride a bike and all of those things. Um, and as we know, food prices have increased over the past year um, in particular and then over the past couple of decades um, as fuel prices go up. I think that cities could really promote urban gardening by making space available for community gardens. If there's open space that's not being used, I think the city really should be saying, hey, let's turn this into a community garden plot. Interesting story of one of our home gardeners who enrolled a few years ago. Um, is we were doing an outreach table at a farmer's market and she and her children were there at the farmer's market and we were giving out free seed packets. So they picked up a packet of cucumber seeds and went home and just found open space in their yard to plant them. And they didn't realize how many cucumbers one plant would make, so they planted the entire packet and ended up with hundreds and hundreds of cucumbers. So during the summer, their kids went out and picked the cucumbers and took them to a little produce market in their neighborhood and sold them to the produce market, which inspired them to want to continue gardening. So they called us the following fall and told us that story and that, that they want to enroll in the program. Another yard is full of plants and they have fruit trees and um, their kids are all about gardening and they're selling produce to the produce market and it's been very exciting for them. We must see to it that the boys and girls in our homes and on our playground have the inexpensive yet priceless advantages these youngsters have had and are thus well fitted to take their places in the ranks of those who do the everyday work of the world the work on which our national welfare depends.